Now we're going to look at charge with this Teflon rod and this piece of fur and this piece of Teflon tape hanging from the ceiling. So if you look at the uh, triboelectric table in the book, you'll see that fur is usually near the top, Teflon is usually near the bottom. So what that means is if you rub them together, uh, you'll get a transfer of charge that will leave the Teflon negative and the fur positive. So electrons will be transferred from the fur to the Teflon. So there's three ways we can tell this is actually happening. One way is that when you do it, it gets so charged that the charge is released into the air and makes sparks. And you can hear those little sparks if I hold it close to the microphone. So you can hear sparks. Another way is if you take a charged object like the Teflon and you hold it near your arm, you feel a tingling sensation. That tingling sensation is called formication. That's F-O-R-M-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. Formication a medical term for the tingling sensation you feel when you're near a charged object. The third way we can feel, or we know that this thing is being charged, is it creates force. Right? So we know from Coulomb's law that two charged objects experience either attractive or repulsive forces. So here we charge up the rod, and we hold it near the Teflon, and nothing happens. Right? Teflon rod, Teflon tape, nothing happens. And the reason is, Teflon tape isn't charged. Right? Teflon tape is neutral. So in addition to charging the rod, we need to charge uh, the Teflon tape. So I'm just going to take the, the uh, fur and attempt to pull down the tape real quick. So that should have charged up the tape quite a bit. So now, if we charge the rod, we should clearly see a strong repulsive force, there it is, between the Teflon rod and the Teflon tape. Both are negatively charged, so, both, um, so they feel a repulsive force between each other. And I'll never get them to touch. Okay. We can also use this to see that uh, we have conservation of charge, that what's really happening is negative charge is going from here, the, the fur to the tape, to the rod, so it must leave the fur positive. Right? So if we take this, do this again, hold the fur next to the uh, tape, it should be attractive. So there, it's not as strong, but there's an attractive force between the fur and the tape, because they're charged opposite. Right? So you can see it'll pull both ways. Pulls it that way. So if you can acquire your own Teflon rod and fur, I would encourage you to go formicate yourself.